Well, look at this cosine rule. Uh, hopefully you've seen all the previous parts. They give me a triangle and they want me to calculate a particular angle, x. And, uh, well, can I use sine, cosine or tangent and the ordinary trigonometry? Well, I can't because I don't have a right angle triangle. So, two options, the sign rule. And the sign rule I can use if I have its teammate length in this case, which I do. But I also need a full team length and angle. I don't have a full team. I don't have a full team. I can't calculate a full team either. So, cosine rule it is. All right. And the cosine rule says that a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine of a yeah now that is a formula you have to remember and then many books say well you also have to remember yeah, because this is if you want to calculate a length yeah, many books say you also have to remember if you want to calculate an angle like in this particular case that the cosine is b squared plus c squared minus a squared divided by 2bc but do you really have to remember that i don't agree with those books because you can rearrange that yourself if you remember the, let's say, the, yeah, the cosine rule. This one you can rearrange yourself on an actual test. Let's have a look how that goes then. Um, I'm going to use that one. Yeah? So a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine of a. I'm looking for an angle, but now it is important yeah, that I just take a minute. Because I'm looking for the angle, and the a corresponds with the cosine there of a. So where, uh, with which number do I start? Yeah, what do I square first? It is the 20, 20 squared. Yeah, because the 20 is the teammate of the x, and I want to find x. 20 squared equals 12 squared plus 15 squared minus two times. 12 times 15 times the cosine of A. Okay, I can start rearranging that if I like. 400 equals 144 plus 225. Uh, your calculator can help you uh, with that. And uh, the next part, I should be able to do that, but I don't have a lot of time. Uh, 360, of course, minus 360 cosine of A. Good. Now first we're going to subtract some of these numbers on the right side. Uh, 225 equals minus 360 cosine of A. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Yeah? So I've subtracted 144, I've subtracted 225 on the right side. It's only equal if I do the same on the left side. Or as some of you say, if you move it to the other side of the equal sign, the sign changes. Okay, 400 take away 144, take away 225. Not sure why I don't want to calculate it actually, but okay. It is 31 equals minus 360 times the cosine of A. Then I divide both sides by minus 360. So 31 divided by minus 360, that is the cosine of A. Do we agree with that? 31 divided by negative 360 and if you like decimals and I'm pretty sure you do it says minus 0 0.086 and then loads of ones yeah but that is the cosine of a yeah that is not a itself because to find a what do I have to do I have to do the inverse cosine I had to find the angle of 0 point sorry minus 0 0.086 and all those ones, yeah, and that equals. Oh, so I'm gonna grab my calculator, uh, shift cosine of that answer to one decimal place and angles, um, 94.9 degrees. Okay, so that's my final answer. Now, what I want to say again is if I have to use the cosine rule to find an angle. Okay, perhaps you want to remember this formula. It's already rearranged. So the cosine of A is B squared plus C squared minus A squared divided by 2BC. Eh? So they actually bring this to the other side first. It, the sign changes the A squared to that side. So B squared plus C squared minus A squared. And then you divide it by 
to be seen, yeah, because that has become uh, positive on the other side. Okay, that's fantastic. Remember it. I think it's always better to uh, do that on the spot, yeah, because if you remember things, sometimes you make a silly mistake. Anyway, we can also calculate angles with the cosine rule. Let's have a look at one more question.